Okay, they should call this the Great Line of China, not the Great Wall of China. It's funny how they turn a piece of history into an amusement park. Joys of traveling. God, what the hell is this? Friggin' and that's how you get down. Toboggan down there. I ain't got that to look forward to next. Why is nothing what I expect here? Everything is just different. There she is. So it's three o'clock now. I, we set off at nine o'clock in the morning. And we'll only have about less than an hour here. So many people. The 21,000 kilometer Great Wall has a long history. It began in 770 BC and it was continually built through different states and dynasties over 2,000 years. Friggin' well dangerous. <laughs> Materials are stone, soil, sand, brick delivered by hand, rope, cart and goat. Its purpose was to prevent invasion and protect the Silk Road trade. When Chairman Mao came into power, it was encouraged for people to take parts of the wall and use it as free building material. <laughs> Thankfully, the tourist industry managed to save most of it. It's 7,000 kilometers long and over six meters in height. Usually the wall is on hills as well to stop the horses. Every 500 meters or less on the Great Wall are flanking towers allowing defenders to shoot arrows at attackers at the face of the wall. And they'd shoot out these small windows. The Mongolians. They used to put smoke signals. Um, like one smoke for 100 men come in or two smokes for like 500 men come in. Um, and then at night time they used to set fire, like one fire for 100 men, two fires for like 500 men are coming. Too many people here really. There's even a helicopter here. So there's about 3 million people in China at that time and about 1.3 million people worked on the wall. Nowadays there's about 5 billion people in China. Workers were soldiers, peasants, rebels and political prisoners. Like it's all the same once you've walked a little bit of it. <laughs> now I've got to try and get down from this thing. It's a toboggan. So this is how you get down from the Great Wall of China. Holy shit. Have a break and you can go faster. Picks up some speed. But you have to be careful you don't hit the person in front. Isn't it a pleasant ride? Very pleasant. Well, I'd like to start calling it the Great Queue of China because it takes friggin' hours to get up there and back. Some people are holding us up now. Yeah, we left at nine o'clock in the morning. By the time we friggin' got there, it was like three o'clock. Then you end up an hour queuing and then Walk on that day, you have to go back down again. So I spent most of the day waiting. It's actually probably been the worst day since I've been here. It's just all waiting. But the wall was nice though. But once you walked around it for half an hour, that's it, I think. It's all the same. There's the uh, 
the lift you get on the way up. I thought they were, um, well, they're, they're closed, but they're not, they're open. Come on. Come on, go faster. Is that it? This is something different. I never expect this this morning. It's not exactly a roller coaster though, is it? It's funny how they turn a piece of history into God knows what this is. Into an amusement park. This is the end. So that's Russell reporting from the Great Wall 2019.